Okay, so let's look at um, modular arithmetic and let's look at division. So division in modular arithmetic is interesting. So let's look at this example. It says evaluate 2 divided by 3 in mode 4. So you write it this way. 2 divided by 3 equals, you can say equals x because you don't know the value yet. So write it this way. 2 divided by 3 in mode 4. You can start by writing 2 divided by 3 equals x because you don't know the value. Then you can now... Since you equated the division to x, since you don't know the value yet, you can cross multiply. You can put the x over 1 and then you cross multiply. Then 3 times x is 3x equals 2 times 1 is 2. And of course, you know the next thing to do is divide both sides by 3. But if you divide both sides by 3, in this case, you are going to be um, confusing yourself because if you divide both sides by 3, 3 will not be able to divide 2. For example, let me do it on this part of the paper here. So 3x equals 2 divide both sides by 3. 3 cancels 3. Then you have x equals 2 over 3, which is not valid in this case. And we know 3 cannot divide 2. So you have to be able to manipulate this equation in a way that 3 will be able to divide what is on the right-hand side. So your best bet now is to go back to the mode, which is 4, and list out all the multiples or some of the multiples of 4. And when you list out those multiples of 4, pick the one that you can add up, the smallest of the multiples, actually, that you can add up to 2, to now make the right-hand side divisible by 3. So let me list out some of the multiples of 4. I'll start with 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. You see, I'm adding 4 to get the next multiple. Or you can use your multiplication table. Then 12 plus 4 is 16, and so on. You can go on and on. I'm just stopping here because I have seen what I'm going to add. Remember, I'm picking the smallest of the multiples, which is 4. And I've seen that if I add 4 to these two, I'll get 6. And of course, 3 can now divide 6. If I add 8 to 2, if I'm picking 8, if I decide to pick 8, and I add 8 to 2, I'll get 10. But 3 cannot divide 10. So I, I just need to play along with 4. So if I now pick 4 and add 4 to 2, I'll get 6. So it becomes 3x equals these 2 plus the 4 I chose, plus 4, then I'll get 6. Then 3x equals 6. And now it is looking very okay because I can now divide both sides by 3 and I'll end up dividing the 6 by 3. And 3 can divide 6 without remainder. It will work when I'll watch. Three, uh, divide both sides by 3. 3 cancels 3, then x will now be equal to 2. You see, 3 can now divide 6. But I made it possible to get 6 by adding 4 to this 2. You have to be very smart. So, but here, I couldn't divide this 2 by the 3. That was why I added this one of the multiples of this 4 to 2 to make it divisible by 3. So, I now have 2. So, my final answer will now be 2 in mode 4. So, if you divide 2 by 3 in mode 4, you get 2 as your final answer. And... It's okay because you have 2 as your answer and 2 is not even up to the mode 4. Remember, your answer must be smaller than the mode itself. So very simple.